killing his ex-girlfriend, 19-year-old Paula Davis. We first brought you this story back in September. The UNLV student's father found her body in the family's van near a North Las Vegas park. The indictment details the evidence that they say is stacked against Ruiz. The report includes pictures and the text Davis crafted ending the couple's 10-month relationship. It read in part, quote, our relationship was really sweet while it lasted, but it has come to a close. Detectives also say surveillance video shows Ruiz's truck parked outside Davis's home the night she died. And the suspect was later seen buying bleach, trash bags, and paper towels. Finally, we see this. Video of Ruiz in a gun shop where he reportedly purchased this gun two days before Davis died. The gun is missing two rounds. Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. Right now, Ruiz is facing one count of first degree murder with a deadly weapon. He is due back in court on November 7th. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid says he's enthusiastic about reaction to a once secret study of UFOs that Reid and congressional colleagues authorized more than a decade ago. The last two years have really seen an explosion of interest in UFOs among mainstream media, but there's been pushback from conspiracy enthusiasts and some military officials. Reid gave an exclusive interview to the I team's George Knapp to try to clear up some misinformation. When Bill and Hillary Clinton came to Las Vegas in May to speak to a large audience on the Strip, their first stop was at the Henderson home of former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. It's the same path followed by many Democratic politicians and presidential candidates who visit Nevada, seeking guidance from the retired but still crafty senator. Reid and the Clintons share an interest in a controversial subject. There's a whole fleet of them. UFOs. As a presidential candidate in 2016, Hillary Clinton vowed to open up the pen Pentagon's UFO files. And when Bill Clinton was still president, Reid asked him about UFOs during one White House visit. Someone else who had an interest in this that you discussed it with is Bill Clinton. Uh, I don't know. I, we can now talk about this maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah we, Bill is a. One thing about President Clinton, no one can ever say that he wasn't smart. He was, he is, and was an extremely intelligent man. And this is something that he was interested in. Reed was cagey about whether the Clintons spoke to him about UFOs during their recent visit, but said the subject is definitely on the agenda for their next get together. Reed had similar conversations with other national figures during his years in the Senate, including Senators Stevens and Inouye, who lent their support to the creation of a secret Pentagon study of UFOs, and Senator and former astronaut John Glenn. Did he ever give you any specifics about why he no. was interested? No, but he. I didn't uh, want to push him, but he, he was very interested. The UFO study that Reed initiated was largely carried out by a Nevada contractor, Bigelow Aerospace. After the contract ended, a scaled-down version of the program continued within the Pentagon, ATIP. In a 2009 letter to the DOD, Reed tried to move ATIP into a more classified special access status. The sensitive letter was sent to only a handful of people, one of whom was a career intelligence officer named Lou Elizondo. ATIP was one of his Pentagon assignments. In 2010, Elizondo became the point man for ATIP, though in recent statements, Pentagon spokespersons deny he ever worked for it. UFO critics have pounced on those claims. Reed says he's appalled but not surprised. We have a fringe group of people out there who they want to control all this, the so-called conspiratorial folks. They don't want anybody that's based on facts being involved in this. So what do they do? They go online and try to belittle Elizondo and me and anybody else that's trying to do it a scientific way. Uh, Elizondo is a man with a great record serving our country and people should leave him alone and one thing about him he's not backing off and I appreciate that very much. Would you say definitively that he was working for ATEP trying to figure out this UFO stuff? That's one of the things he did, yes. Yeah. Although the Pentagon says ATIP ended in 2012, Reed has been informed it is ongoing with greater resources than it had before. The U.S. Navy's announcement that it will encourage UFO encounter reports by pilots and others is a key development, Reed says, an indicator the subject is no longer taboo or a career killer. The ongoing wave of media interest has even convinced Reed's most formidable skeptic, Mrs. Reed. So my wife said, Maybe you aren't so crazy after all. George Knapp, 8 News Now.